and it is our final, final day in Bangkok. It's come and gone a little too quick, but we're not done yet. We've got some fun things for today, and then tonight, we're taking a night train. And yes, I am wearing this shirt for the third day in a row. Thank you. So many memories. Terminal 21. Here we go. Any budget travelers, you guys better write this one down. Because at the very top, on like the fourth or fifth floor, is something called Pier 21. So when you come upstairs to Pier 21, this is where you have at least 20 of these little restaurants. They almost got this like cafeteria vibe to them, but each of them are individual shops and restaurants. And that's the move right there. You gotta get the Hainanese chicken set. Hainanese? Hainanese. Things haven't changed. It's still a dollar for a full, full portion of food. But they're not huge portions. So you might wanna get yourself one, maybe two. That's one dollar right there. This is really, really cool too. Basically, you point at whichever cup you want and they just blend it up. You tell them to add no sugar and it's basically just fresh fruit. Thank you. It's amazing because you get to choose everything and anything. It's like instantly ready right in front of you. But it doesn't matter if it's a dollar or if it sucks. The food's actually really good. You get a bit of everything. Food's so good. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You want to introduce yourself? People are like, who is this? There's an additional friend in the friend group. Jasmine here. Where did we meet? We met in Bali. Jasmine messaged Andrea, and we all kind of have been in Bali around the same time about two weeks ago. So it's kind of coincidental that we're all meeting here, but a very good place to meet. The truth is, I don't know when I'll be back to Bangkok. So I had to come here just for old time's sake, re-experience a lot of this food. All right, so to catch our night train tonight, we really have to hurry up. And this traffic is just starting up. It's 5 p.m. Hey, boss. How much to go to Labua? Yeah, how much? 150. 150? Yeah, okay, 150, two people. Me and her, two people. Hey, let's go! <laughs> this is how you beat Bangkok traffic. That is why you need to take a motorbike when traffic gets going. It is so busy. Oh. You know what I find really interesting is that the time on Google Maps has been so inaccurate. Like, this is us cutting through traffic and it's still taking like 45 minutes when it said it should have taken 30. This is like a hour and a half by car probably maybe two hours the problem is we're going to a sky bar right now and we're gonna have maybe enough time to grab one drink and then we're gonna have to book it to go get our bags i don't want to miss this train <laughs> i'm so scared <laughs> what if we uh we lift there you go we're making our own lane all right baby all aboard Crazy. That's it there. Wow, I'm getting all these smells as we go by. Look at these altars. It's like these little miniature temples. I can smell all these flowers and incenses. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Yeah. Mark Chamberlain, okay? Mark <laughs> Chamberlain vibes for sure, for sure. Dress code. Ryan is wearing a sleeveless. Right there. That is the ghost tower and back in the day that was like one of the coolest things to do as an exchange student and you would climb up this abandoned staircase through this abandoned building and the sunset is the exact same view as this one just a little couple floors down but the fact that it was like this sketchy building with sudden drop-offs and it was like the best place to carry up a beer enjoy the end of a beautiful day in Bangkok but uh, nowadays it's pretty much super super duper sus and illegal to do it we're not gonna risk it for the biscuit today all right let's see how much damage we did with one singa <laughs> the entirety of all of our food, all four of us together at Terminal yeah, 21, was less than one singa. <laughs> one beer. That was a $13 beer. 
Ruby's cocktail on the other hand, $25. Ryan's cocktail, because you have to order one, $25. <laughs> the guy who's paying, It ain't part of my 50 bucks though. The race is on because we have to run back, pack our bags, grab our bags, and then head to the train station all in the next 70 minutes. Hello. Pro tip, to save money, leave your bags with your hotel lobby and then you can pick it up at the end of the day. And now that we have our bags, it's time to go run for the train because it's leaving in 35 minutes. She's thick. Come on, Cram it in there, folks, all right? What can you get? So many of the viewers wish they were that backpack. I'm doing fine up here if you guys were wondering. This literally looks like an airport. Run. Thank you, boss. Okay, cheers. See you guys in Surat Tani. If I don't make this train, I got no money left for my room. I blew it all on this ticket. Speed walk. So hard. Why is this place so big? Thank you so much. Run! Put a little pep in your step. Okay. Ah! Wait! Wait! Oh no! 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 No, wait, wait, wait! No, no, to that. Ah! That ain't ours. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Emotional damage. The Backpacker Olympics. You guys gotta work on your time. Andrea's like a 100 meter kind of person. <laughs> After 101, she's, it's game I'm over. All right, at the end of the train tracks, they've got a bunch of little pop-up shops. Look at that, that looks good. Tonight's dinner is $1.50 from Pad Thai. Okay, yeah. How do you know we're to go that way? Hi roommates. You look at the red number at the... At the oh, at thank the, you. Yeah, yeah perfect. No, no, All right. <laughs> it's so hidden. You have to look down here for the number. All right, so we're settled in. In the end, we made it with like five, 10 minutes, enough to get some Pad Thai. Um, these right here are currently seats, but they actually open up, turn to the beds where you guys are gonna be sleeping. Ruby can show you where the bed is. That's ours right there, all set up. I also have the upper bunk. But let's be real, Ruby and I are gonna end up cuddling. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna eat my pad thai. Looks like we might hit our $50 goal today. Only set back by my Chang beer. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tour here. Oh, hey girl, you wanna show us what's going on in here? <laughs> give me a tour. This is my beautiful window wow. where I get a view of the stars. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so nice. When you wake up, it's gonna just be blue water. Yeah, and over there, that's my um, backpack holder. Just Let's see. To, it. Yeah, right there. It's nice. Really nice. Cool. And this is for my laptop. This is what's called second class. Uh, there's like third class, which is basically just seats, which would be pretty long. It's about 400 baht. This is 900 baht to have a comfortable bed. Uh, it's actually probably cheaper guys. I'm gonna be honest. I booked it through a third party online I'm sure I paid a markup, but it's also the expense of a bed for the night So I don't have to pay for a hotel and uh, let me show you the toilet Wow. Very nice so I literally just published my video for the day. Uh, I hotspotted from my phone, edited from here, and uh, yeah, it's all set live. Three days straight, daily grind. It's a lot of work to make these videos happen the same day, uh, but it's something I'm very familiar with. If you're a long time part of the channel, you'll know that I actually started daily vlogging in Thailand, and so this is kind of literally the biggest throwback possible, going back to where it started, how it started, with a few extra tricks up my sleeves, a few cooler transitions like this one. And that one, I learned that one just the other day. Pretty cool. Other than that, I'm the same lame dude, but yep, yeah, I'm off to bed. Bye. Hello. Good morning. Coffee. No, thank Coffee. you. No, thank you. <laughs> Wake up call. Come on, kids. It's time to go to school. Breakfast. Actually, smells really good, though. Wow. And that right there is what it's like to take the sleeper train. I really, really recommend it. For 25 bucks, 
Uh, you might want to spend the extra dollar and get like an eye cover, maybe an extra 25 cents on some earplugs. Otherwise, you're gonna get woken up by the fried chicken lady. Coffee. But she seemed very sweet. How do you have so much energy? Bye. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. We did it. We did it, Joe. Fun of the day. Yay!